Let's talk about magic. Specifically, let's talk about five of my favorite spells that I always pick when making a Leyline Walker. Throughout the dozens of books across the Rifts game, there are a multitude of different spellcasting OCCs to choose from. But to me, the Leyline Walker is the best example of a well-rounded caster who can have a wide range of spells and abilities that make him shine in Rifts. The Rifts Ultimate Edition Core Rulebook is where you'll find this class, along with the spells that I'll be mentioning here. For veteran players, this may seem somewhat redundant, but I really do want to start from a place that anyone can jump in and get the gist of what's going on, especially new players. In fact, one of the goals I had in mind when creating this channel was to pull away some of the curtains that might have overwhelmed people who've never played before but would like to give the game a try, or at the very least, help people out who used to play but haven't in decades. So, without further ado, let's talk about my five favorite must-have starting spells to pick at your Leyline Walker's character creation. When creating your Leyline Walker, your character will start out with a variety of abilities that all Leyline Walkers have, and you can find these in detail on the Rift's Core rulebook around page 113. The number of spells you begin with are a total of 12 spells by selecting three spells from each levels 1 through 4. This means that beyond the five I select, there will still be seven more spells you'll need to pick on your own. Number one. From level one spells, I always pick See the Invisible. An insanely large number of supernatural creatures, and even some creatures who use technology, allow themselves to walk around relatively undetected. If you aren't a cyborg using a helmet with a HUD that includes thermal imaging, you're going to want to have something you can quickly cast when things don't seem quite right, so that you can double check your surroundings. This spell costs 4 PPE, has a range of 200 feet and lasts 1 minute per level of the caster. Number 2. Moving on to the second level for our second spell on the list, we take a look at Befuddle. Very often crowd control spells can turn the tide of combat. Befuddle is a spell that causes disorientation and confusion for the target. If they fail the standard saving throw, the victim is minus two to strike, parry, and dodge, and their total number of attacks are reduced by half. Any skills they use during this period are also reduced by minus 20%. This spell costs 6 PBE and has a range of 100 feet and a duration of 2 minutes with a standard saving throw. A save means they are utterly unaffected by the magic. This spell only works on a single individual, but with each turn you can continue to cast it on other foes with no penalty. Number 3. Moving on to third level spells, we turn our attention to Armor of Ithan. This is a defensive spell that provides you with an invisible, weightless, and noiseless full suit of mystical armor, or basically a magic force field. This can be created on yourself or an ally. The spell provides instant protection that gives you 10 MDC per level and will last 1 minute per level or until it's destroyed. Additionally, magical fire, lightning, and cold do half damage to the armor. It costs 10 PPE to cast. Number 4. As we reach the level 4 spells, I suggest Carpet of Adhesion, one of the most effective large crowd control spells at lower levels to impede your foes. When cast, it creates a giant sheet of human flypaper that stops a foe dead in their tracks. This is also one of the most debated spells on how it works due to some of the unclear and contradictory wording, but the gist of it is you can create it on the ground, on a wall, or even on other people to trap them, as long as it doesn't exceed the size limitation of 200 square feet. If the target fails their save, they're just stuck indefinitely for the duration of the spell. If they save, they can try to break free, but it will take 2d6 rounds for them to become unstuck. The PPE cost is 10, the duration is 2.5 minutes per level of the caster, and the range is 30 feet plus 10 feet per level. Number 5. Lastly, also a level 4 spell, sometimes you just need to get out of there. And the way to do that in the right conditions is with the Shadow Meld spell. The spell allows you to slip into the shadows that are at least the size of a person and become totally invisible, even to the see the invisible spell. This allows you to sneak around from shadow to shadow with a prowl roll of 60% to not be noticed, or plus 15 to your prowl skill, whichever is higher. If a foe knows you're there, they can try to target you, but do so with a minus 5 to strike. Area of effect spells do not suffer this penalty. 
The cost is 10 PPE with a duration of 2 minutes per level. I don't always pick the same spells for each character that I make, but if I can pick these I try to in most cases as I found them very useful. In later videos, as I expand into the various other source books, there will likely be more lists such as this that apply to various parts of the world and other OCCs with a variety of lesser known spells. Until then, bye bye.